Hello, welcome back. Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger on April 12th, 2024. If you wonder why we are so close in today, it's such a tight shot uh, because usually I have the camera all the way across the room, but today I actually have a table set out here. Uh, it's the same table I did the Toy Thursday on, and I was doing some more uh, action figure photos. Uh, you guys will probably see that in a short video later. Um, and I haven't had time to pack everything up yet, so that's why we are having a uh, having to do this with a tighter shot. But that's okay. Uh, I hope you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys can still see me. Um, so if you can't, if this is wonky and not very clear, so let me know. Uh, luckily, we are doing something very simple today. We are going to work our delts, our deltoids. Right? That's the muscle that at the top of your upper arm, where technically it's your shoulder. Um, that's the place where a lot of times when they are giving you your um, vaccination or any kind of shot, they put it right in there. Right? Okay? So working those muscles. Uh, these muscles are actually quite important because they are engaged in a lot of stuff that you do, especially upward kind of movement. Any kind of upward uh, pulling kind of movement, it will engage those muscles. Um, today I'm going to show you just one exercise that can really work the hell out of your delt. And it's very simple. You don't need a bench. You don't need anything. You can do a standing or sitting or even kneeling. So this is called the uh, standing dumbbell roll. Uh, basically, you take one dumbbell in each hand, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, if you are going to stand, or you can sit. Have the dumbbell just in front of your thigh. So your hand, your arms are dangling straight. Your dumbbell are in front of your thigh, okay, right here, down here. I don't know if you guys can see that low, but anyway. So your goal is to get your dumbbells from your thigh as close to your chin as possible and have them basically stay close to your body, okay? So move them from your thigh to your chin and then back down. You want to accomplish this not with a bicep curl, that would, that would be working the wrong muscle group. You want to pull them up by uh, having your elbow go to the side and back. So you are making like a chicken wing motion like this. Okay. See how I have the dumbbell stay very close to my body like that crawling up my body and my elbows are going out to the side like that. Right? That's what you're doing. So your dumbbell travel from side to chin in a nice smooth pull. Keep your neck relaxed. Keep your balance centered. Power it from your shoulder. So think about lifting your elbow. It's a very effective exercise, doing it this way. For me, um, I'm feeling I'm mostly up in the trap and then the burn travel down to the deltoid from the trap. It's a good idea to remember when you're doing this, uh, keep your chin nice and neutral Keep your neck nice and relaxed and relax your core and back as much as you can. Because a lot of time when I when people get tired when they do this one, what is going to happen is they're going to arch their back and you're going to hurt your spine doing that. Let me show you that. So let's say 
I want to do 20 of these. Uh, by the time we get to 18, I'm starting to struggle. So a lot of people, when they start to struggle, they'll do uh, like that. They'll arch, they'll, they'll arch their upper body back and their pelvis will come forward. Okay, that is very dangerous, especially when you're doing heavy weight, because you are throwing your body out of alignment, and if you were to fall backward, you're going to hurt yourself really bad. Okay, so make sure that your body stays nice and neutral, nice and straight. This is only lifting from the shoulder, from the shoulder. Okay, my chest is not wavering back and forth back and forth now I'm going to turn around and give you guys a back view so you can see what it looks like from behind and you can also get a nice view of my uh, nice ponytail <laughs> okay facing away from the camera I know it's rude to talk while I'm facing away Putting my back to the camera, dumbbell in my hand, down by my side. I'm going to pull them up to my chin. Let them down, 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 up to my chin. Let them down. Just like that. If you are feeling the burns in your neck, or if you're feeling like this is hurting your lower back, then you need to relax your posture more. Okay, this should be a very relaxed, very relaxed uh, kind of lift. Uh, you are mostly just holding on to the dumbbell and pulling it up by bringing your elbow up and out like I said think of that chicken wing motion and think uh, focus your uh, lift by lifting your shoulder and elbow lifting your shoulder and elbow okay the dumbbell should stay nice and close to your torso um, let's do one more angle this time I'm going to stay in sideline to you guys so uh, you guys can uh, maybe get a better view on the side feet shoulder width apart dumbbell down by my side from the side to the chin down to the side up to the chin down to the side nice and slow up to the chin, down to the side, up to the chin, down to the side, up to the chin, down to the side. I hope you guys have fun with this one. Any comment and feedback, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I'll be back again tomorrow for some Survival Saturday. Look out for my uh, short video coming up later. For now, have a good night.